Hi guys and welcome back. So I'm in the reloading room, just finished some reloads for the new Dasher and I thought I'd do a little bit of a practical video for you guys on why I choose to use Ogive compared to the overall length of a bullet. So I know a lot of guys do it out there but I thought let me quickly just show you why I do this. So stay tuned, I'll bring the camera closer, I'll show you some of the bullets compared, you know, overall length compared to the Ogive. I'll put it on the screen so you can do a comparison and you can make a decision for yourself whether or not it's important to do overall length or the Ogive length. Let's go ahead. All right, guys, here we are. This is the loads that I've loaded for the Dasher. I've put myself a little bit of a note card so I know what I'm shooting when I'm on the range. And what we'll do is we'll zero the vernier. All right, we're going to take from this queue over here going to take five rand, well, in a row, but random. So 2.82, call it 8.3. I'll go millimeters so you can see. That's 60.55. and a half. 60.54. That's nice and close to each other. And again, inches first. 23.90. That gives you 60.70. A little bit different on that one. And inches again, 23.91 and a half, which gives you 70.64, which is, so the first two and the last two is nice and close to each other, but difference of 0.2 mils, and 23.91 and a half gives you 60.75. All right, so let's install the Ogive meter just so you see what it looks like. This is the adapter that goes onto your vernier, screws onto the vernier on that side, and this is caliber specific. This is the Sudami one. 24 for 243 caliber and I'm just going to screw it onto the vernier. All right guys, the vernier with the Ogive meter installed. I'm going to run the same five bullets. Just make sure it's zeroed and I'll start in inches again. And first one reads 1.782 millimeters 4526. All right, 17 82, let's see this one, 1782 gives you 4527, all right, number three, 1.782 inches, 4526, we're pretty getting the idea how consistent the Ogive meter would be, one point, let me just make sure, 1.7 80 and that's 45.21 and back to inches first of all 1783 and gives you 4528 all right same five bullets you can see the difference between the overall length versus the ogive and there you have it guys that is why I use the Ogive. It just gives me a little bit uh, better readings, more consistent readings throughout the bullets. Like you saw in the first two and the last two, the first two and then the second set, they were pretty close to each other, but they still had the difference. And then running on the Ogive from bullet one to five, the difference being what we had on the screen. So guys, there you have it. Nice and short video. Lacquer, we'll see you again.